Sim PvP is a survival Minecraft server which has existed on the same map since 2011. Over the course of 8 years, the server has developed a unique history. Come explore the various chapters of that history in these episodes of The Complete History of Sim PvP. I don't know why we may not be perfect, but heaven knows we try. But all around, even our old friends put us down. Let's drop the big one and see what happens. Welcome to the first part of the series on Sim PvP history, covering all of Sim PvP history. In this episode, we will be covering the information about the years 2011 through 2012, the very beginning of Sim PvP history. This is also known as the Dawn Age, as coined by Ostrich1414, as well as other old players. Now, before I start, there is a fact that is very well known about, that I just have to reiterate. Sim PvP reset its map. Yes, Sim PvP, if it had not reset its map, would perhaps be vastly popular to this day. It would have a claim to fame, but because it can't claim to have never reset its map, and because it can't claim to be the oldest server, and because it can't quite claim to be an anarchy server, it is mediocre at best in terms of popularity. Whether or not pre-reset information counts as part of Sim PvP history is up for debate. But personally, I would include it, because according to some sources, the inventory of players was not reset, it was merely the map itself. Now, Sim PvP was created on April 23rd, 2011. The main intention or theme of the server was to be a PvP server, a concept which didn't really have the same connotation as it does now. Back in the day, People would typically gear themselves up with the resources around spawn, build tiny houses and huts near there, and then fight each other. It was simply PvP. Simplicity PvP. Hence the name. It was on this early map that one of the server's most prolific players, Rev Stoning Pot, would get a start. Rev traveled about 4,000 blocks from spawn on the original map. He then found a lake and built a hole underneath it. That was to be his home, or at least initially was. Rev built many things on this original map, but two of the most well-known are the PvP Spawn Castle, which looked out over the spawn area that was build protected. He would constantly update the build so that it appeared ungriefed, and so many players passing by it assumed that it was simply on some type of clock reset that reset all of the blocks on it. Of course, this was not the case. The other one of his more popular builds is the Simpsons House, which was a replication of the Simpsons House from the popular TV show. This is the Simpsons House. I have been building this out, um on the server I play on. It was never finished due to the fact that the map was reset. This reset occurred on September 15th of that same year, 2011. Rev wasn't the only famous Sim PvP player to join before the reset in September. There were many others. For example, Kuke was a player who joined in July of 2011 and became admin shortly thereafter. Kuke was one of the few admins to be removed of their OP rank. Also, he was one of the even fewer bunch who were then later banned. Another player who joined in the summer of 2011 was Black Babby. The prolific castle builder, Morlock, also joined during this period on August 6th of 2011. Silius of Borg joined in August. The rare former admin, E, YPY, the P is silent, joined in spring of 2011. The famous player Fluzz and Faux Shizzle both joined in this year before the reset. So did Little Box of Emo on August 16th. 
While the map did reset in September of 2011, the player base clearly did not, as many of these players went on to do more things on the server in the future. On this new map, however, something interesting was starting to happen. New players were forming groups. This wasn't something that occurred before because the server was a mostly PvP, anarchy type server. The two players, Boxy Liz and Little Box of Emo, started and led the project, Eden. Along with them were the players Eric C. Miller, LavaDude42, Might90, Frejaban, Laughing Man, World Roller86, Lone Soldier55, and Gigantores. The project was initiated in late September, very shortly after the reset. Other groups began to sprout out. The player Illidon created the group The Pantry, which was dedicated to giving supplies to new players. Tangentially related to the goal of Elidon was the flying castle built by Trouble underscore 354, a flying, levitating castle with bountiful harvests for all the noobs to take from. Another significant base was Antipodish Castle. It was built by the players Antipodish, Ajkak2010, Nakagris, and Melomads. The famous Castle Snowfrog was also started around this time. But the player base of the server wasn't all that was changing. There were also some very important technical changes that occurred during this time to the server itself. You see, there were two primary camps playing on Sim PvP the builders and explorers, and the PvPers, and they really didn't see eye to eye when it came to the future of the server. This resulted in the Great World Border Dispute of 2011 to 2012 that I made an entire video on. The Nether map was reset on November 1st of 2011, and a vote was held on the implementation of a world boundary. On the 8th of December, this was put into effect on the 26th. And with the construction of Castle Black, also in 2011, that closes out most of what occurred in 2011. 2012 was the year when everything got extremely complicated, so forgive me if I start to pare things down a bit. In 2012, the most powerful group were the Edenites, aka those who base at Eden. However, their wonderful base in the sea was destroyed by one of their own members. Apparently, World Roller 086 griefed Eden. This occurred in November of 2012, and so after this point, many of the members of Eden had to move on to find other places to base. Another large troop of players were those based at Stone Island with Rev Stoning Pot. These included Rev himself, DPYLZ, Kuke, and Faux Shizzle. Also, Xavter, Starry Rose, and Might base there as well. As a continuation of the historical trend to build outposts for noobs to come across, Oasis was created by Deflo Vesper in 2012. Another well known event on the server was Revstoning Pot's Yacht Party in which he invited everybody on the server to his yacht, which was soon promptly blown up and griefed. The mysterious base Arcania, which I also made a video about, was also started in 2012. What's most fascinating about Arcania is that its main player, David M1A, still plays frequently to this day. In June of 2012, Rev Stoning Pot posted the first advertisement, or server trailer of sim pvp to his old youtube channel and included a montage of clips and videos as well as screenshots of many of the bases that existed at that time Heaven knows we try and all around us, even I.
to the technical nature of the server, there was more confusion about the world boundary. In January, the issue was still much up for debate. On the 14th of February, the end map was reset. The Dawn era extended only slightly into the year of 2012, and the foundation of the base Damocles marked this era's end. And so we have reached the end in the first leg of our sim pvp history journey the end of the dawn age and the beginning of the so-called golden age of 2012 to 2014 anyways i hope you've enjoyed i've been lord pasta and as always have a good day <laughs> Just, <laughs>